We are in lesson 160, which is a spelling dictation lesson. This lesson we're going to be spelling nonsense words that will all contain at least one consonant team. And in our system, we mark words when we're spelling them. And one of the elements in the marking system is that when you encounter a consonant team, you underline that consonant team to indicate that the two or three letters you're underlining join together to form a team. Now, what is the difference between a consonant blend and a consonant team? A consonant blend is when two or three letters cluster together and each letter within that cluster retains its own individual sound and then is blended with the adjoining or adjacent consonant letters. A consonant team is different. A consonant team is when two or three letters join together and represent an entirely different sound. The individual consonants within a consonant team do not retain their own sound. Instead, the consonant team becomes a symbol to represent an entirely different sound. And as an example, think of the consonant team CH. CH, the C sound is K and the H sound is H. We do not combine C and H K, to represent the CH sound. Instead, CH represents an entirely new sound, CH, the same sound you hear at the beginning of the word church. So you need to learn your consonant teams to immediately recognize them when you see them in a word. And again, we underline the consonant teams in this system to indicate those two or three letters join together and represent an entirely different sound. Notice that in the past, we have not underlined consonant blends. We don't underline consonant blends, only consonant teams. These are the consonant teams we're going to be using in the words I'm about to dictate. CH, CH, CHURCH, TCH, CH, MATCH. CH and TCH both represent the same sound. TCH must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use it. CK, K, rock. CK must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use the CK team. N, G, N, as in wing. N, G also must have a short vowel directly in front of it in order to use N, G as a consonant team. PH, represents the same sound that you hear in the letter F, f as in phone. QU, in English, when we have the sounds K and W, we use QU to represent those two sounds. QU represents the sounds KW, qua, as in quit. When U follows the Q, U is part of the consonant team QU and is not considered as a vowel. SH represents the sound SH, as in shell. TH can represent one of two sounds. When it represents its first sound, underline it once. When it represents its second sound, double underline it. The first sound for TH is TH, as in thumb. The second sound for TH is TH, as in THE. The first sound of TH is called the voiceless sound because we do not vibrate our vocal cords to make that sound. The second sound for TH is called the voiced sound for TH because in order to make the sound, you vibrate your vocal cords as you're making the sound th. Finally, WH represents the sound wa, as in the word wheel. Some people pronounce WH with a slight H sound in front, hua, but most people now only use the W sound when they are pronouncing a word with the WH team. So for our purposes, when we see WH, I will assume that it's representing the sound wa. These are the consonant teams. Memorize these teams so that when you encounter them in a word, you immediately recognize them. We underline all consonant teams when we are spelling words for dictation. The first word is vang, vang, v, a, 
Mm. Vang. Here we underline NG. NG is a consonant team representing the sound N. Lek. Lek. L. E. K. Lek. CK is a team we've used quite a bit up to this point in the program. When you have a short vowel followed by K at the end of the word, we use CK to represent that sound. Hotch, hotch, h, a, ch, hotch. Now here we have a three-letter consonant team, TCH. We only use TCH when it has a short vowel directly in front of it. Shub, shub, sh, a, uh, b, shub. SH is a consonant team representing the sound. Sh. Lich. Lich. L. I. Ch. Lich. Here again, TCH is a three letter consonant team. We use that team to represent ch usually when it comes directly after a short vowel. And even though TCH consists of three letters, it only represents one sound. Row two, sang, sang, s, e, n, sang. Thif, thif, th, i, f, thif. Here we underline th because th represents the sound th. And we double the F at the end of the word because of the floss rule. When you have a one-syllable word that ends in F, L, or S, you normally double the F, L, or S. Remember also that TH does represent a second sound. We'll discuss this more as we go through these words. The next word is WOV, WOV, and there will be a consonant team in this word, WOV. First sound, w, uh, v, wov. We underline wh to indicate that it represents the sound w. The next word, thos, thos. First sound, z, ah, uh, s. Thus. Now in this word, th is representing its second sound. The vocal cords vibrate to create this sound, whereas in the first sound for th, the vocal cords don't. So in this word, th is representing the sound th. And if you put your hands on your, some people call it the Adam's apple, but it's your, your vocal cords, you can feel a vibration. Whereas when you represent the first sound of TH, there's no vibration coming from your vocal cords. Also notice we double the S at the end of this word because of the floss rule. Thab, thab, a, b, thab. Here TH represents its first sound. There's no vibration from the vocal cords here. Row three, tetch, tetch, t, e, ch, tetch. Here again is TCH coming after a short vowel sound. Shawl, shawl, sh, a, o, shawl. We underline SH because it's a team representing the sound sh which is the sound you make when you are putting your finger to your lips to indicate, please be quiet. Shh. And we double the L at the end of this word because of the floss rule. The next word will contain a consonant team. Waff, waff, wa, a, f, waff. We double the F at the end of the word because of the floss rule. 
quiz, quiz, qua, i, s, quiz. Remember, u is not a vowel when it comes directly after q. In English, we use qu to represent the sounds k and w combined. Ong, ong, ah, ung, ong. There are only two sounds in this word. Row four. Zip, zip, z, i, p, zip. Here, th is representing its second sound, z where it's making that vibration in your vocal cords. The next word will contain two consonant teams. Weck, weck, wa, e, k, weck. So we underline wh and ck because these are both consonant teams. Chell, chell, ch, e, o. Chell. Thos. Thos. Th. Ah. S. Thos. TH here represents its first sound. Th. Chup. Chup. Ch. A. Uh, p. Chup. Row five. Gak. Gak, g, a, k, gak. The next word will contain a consonant team. Fep, fep, f, e, p, fep. Ph represents the sound f, which is the same sound as the letter f represents. Shem. Shem, sh, e, m, shem. Zod, zod, z, a, d, zod. Now, if you put your hands on your vocal cords, uh, you will feel the vibration when you make the second sound for th. Our last word, mang, mang, m, e, n, mang. This completes the dictation of words in lesson 160.